Hey guys, I'm back today with my May favorites, so let's jump in. So starting with beauty items, I actually have three products from this same brand I wanted to show you. They're all from Eye of Horus. I'm gonna start with the eyeliner. I love the Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's my favorite, stays well, easy to apply. I love that it's a very thin brush tip. And in the past, I had kind of like the felt tip ones, but found the brush to be just more suited to me. That is until I tried this one. So this is a felt tip, but it's so fine at the tip that you can just basically use it as a brush. Very black, very easy to use. It doesn't kind of crumble when you go over your line and it's just a great black felt tip eyeliner. So the next two are both brow products from them. First of all, I have the Brow Define, which is a similar size to the Brow Wiz, maybe a bit skinnier even, but the same kind of thing. So there's a spoolie on one end and the very, very fine pencil on the other. It gives exactly the same results, I think. I might actually prefer this one a tiny bit more because I think you can more so do very fine hair strokes with it. So a great brow pencil if you like a very fine and then the last one is their Dual Brow Perfect, and I have it in the shade Husk. I did show this in my makeup collection video, so I'll link that, but it's a one of the kind of flat kind of brow pencils. It's kind of cut at an angle, like a little pizza slice to look down on. What? Really easy to fill in your brows. You can kind of tip it this way and use the fine point and do hair strokes. Great product in itself, but there's also a brow gel on the end. That's genius. Not only is it brow gel, but they have a nice fine brush so you can really get in there and place them where you want them. And once it's dry, they're not moving. Like, they're just, they're not. It also doesn't give you that crumbly powdery look to the brow, so this is an incredible double-ended product. The next one is kind of an oldie but a goodie. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. This would be perfect for someone who is kind of afraid of very shimmery highlighters because it's very easy to use. It's not super obvious or intense. It's definitely more of a lit from within glow. Very slightly kind of almost peachy champagne toned. And it's definitely one of those products that you can't really describe. So if you get to try one of these out, I would definitely recommend checking out Luminous Light. But yeah, gorgeous highlight, nice and soft, easy to apply. You can really go heavy with it on areas that you want to be a bit more glowy or you can kind of dust it all over your face and it's great for that too. So I definitely love that for that kind of airbrushed, glowy, can't quite place it product. When I say can't quite place it, I mean, you're not like, oh, it's her cheek highlight because it's an all over thing, you know? Yeah. And the last makeup item I had to show you was the RCMA No Color Powder. You've probably seen this a bunch on different YouTubers' channels already. It's a setting powder that you can use to bake with or just to lightly set. It doesn't have that slinky feeling of others, but it does set your makeup incredibly well. So I like to use this when I bake my face. Once I'm ready to dust it off, there isn't a color left, but it does make things a bit brighter, so I really love that about it. And it just kind of makes it completely creaseless and it's a great setting powder. It's also very cheap for the amount you get. Like this is like a red pepper flake shaker, you know? So don't know that I would recommend using it for kind of touching up throughout the day, but if you do wanna like bake and just get it done before you go do anything, great one. Next up, I wanted to show you some new goodies I've had from Pacifica. I have talked about their deodorant wipes before, but I believe this is a new scent, or at least new to me. So these are the underarm deodorant wipes, odor neutralizing with coconut milk and sugared flowers. It smells delicious, but not overpowering. I would say sugary flowers sounds about accurate. Great to throw in your gym bag, in your car, if you're on the go, if you're traveling in the plane. Just makes you feel a bit fresher. Super easy way to apply. Just something where you want to freshen up easily. They're great wipes. The next thing I wanted to show you were their face skincare travel sets. So I did get two and I think I showed you on Instagram. I got the kind of anti-aging one and the kind of breakout prone skin one. And because I took everything out of the boxes already, I don't remember what was in which. So I'm just gonna link them below. Essentially what you will get are three miniatures. So I believe this was the um, Dreamy Youth one. So you get a seafoam face wash, a Glow Baby face scrub, 
And then they Dreamy Youth Moisturizer, which is a really nice one. Not just for anti-aging, it's just a great hydrating kind of cream. And then you also get one of the face wipe minis too. So if you are interested in like Pacifica skincare and haven't known where to start, I would probably buy one of those so you get to try a bunch of minis and see what you like. But also I've already packed most of it for travel because I've got some travel coming up and part of it is going to be going to... BeautyCon LA with Pacifica. I'll be at the booth with the unicorn, maybe some other people. So if you're also going to BeautyCon, I would love to see you there. Um, definitely let me know on Twitter if you are going and yeah, that's exciting. That's why I've got so many travel things recently. The other Pacifica item I wanted to mention was the cactus water. I do have a blog post on this so I will link it. Incredible micellar water, great slip to it so it really takes the makeup off very easily, even around the eyes and doesn't leave a ton of residue. So this is probably my favorite micellar water I've tried so far. I have tried a few. Yeah, I would definitely buy this again and again, and you can also obviously correct any makeup mistakes with a little bit on a Q-tip, but I just think it's a really great micellar water if you have been looking into them and had a hard time finding vegan cruelty-free ones. So there you go. Another skincare item I've been loving, I don't know if this was in a favorites before, but I feel like I've been especially enjoying it this month, was the Derma E Purifying Toner Mist. So it's a spray toner, so you don't have to rub it your face unless you want to, you could put it on a cotton pad. Um, but I just mist it on my face once it's clean and dry, and it almost has this kind of cooling, slightly fizzy feeling on it but it's really nice very refreshing and it definitely does kind of tone and tighten your skin so i think this would be good for anybody normal to oily but also if you are someone within that range who gets very red when they put their skincare on this is nice because you don't have to rub your face so yeah a really great toner the next one i'm about to show you you've probably seen before but it is the newest snap white whitening kit I did want to put this in my last favourites, but I didn't because I wanted to get the video on it out first so you could get to know everything about it because there always are a lot of questions that come with teeth whitening kits. It made my teeth very white, I had no sensitivity, and I will link the video on it below. There is a big discount too if you use the code WIFELIFE on the VIP bundle. So you get the whitening trays, the whitening gel, but you also get the whitening pen, which is really convenient too. You get $10 off that, I think. So you get it for $29.95, I believe, but I'll have everything linked below. You may have seen me review the Pinrose Perfumes sample set that I got from Sephora. I'll link the review below. But after Pinrose saw that, they did contact me to see if they could send me some of their favorites in full size. So, I mean, <laughs> I didn't say no. So they sent me four of my favorite scents. So Gilded Fox, the notes are cocoa, rum, and vetiver. Not only are the perfumes delicious, the packaging is gorgeous, and this packaging. <laughs> Hello. So it says, outfox your prey with this warm and sexy potion, best worn with barely there, come hither stare. Sips like spiked hot cocoa, that is exactly how I would suggest it. And I noticed that their website said, perfect for a Great Gatsby theme party, which I went to and wore this, and it, it really was. Definitely a warm, sexy scent, slightly spicy, and one of you did say that it reminds you of the Pacifica, like the spicy cocoa candle that they had. I can't remember what it's called, and it is very similar to that. Gorgeous fragrance. Another one I got was Merrymaker. This is definitely much more kind of fruity to me anyway. I'm gonna grab the boxes so I can read you the notes. So Merrymaker, the notes are Nectarine, Plum and Tonka Bean and it says radiate sunshine with this refreshing Nectarine blend, best worn when you need an extra skip in your step. Sips like Bellini and I would say that is, that is really accurate. It's lovely and fresh, kind of like fruity and I'm going to say robust. I'm going to pretend that I know what I'm talking about but that word comes to mind. Great scent, so I've got the kind of warm sexy one, the light fruity one. I have then got Pillow Talk Poet. This one, the notes are powder, amber, and musk, and there are a lot of perfumes which have those same notes, but that aren't vegan or cruelty free. This smells incredible. It's like the sexiest clean laundry smell ever. Oh, slip into this fresh laundry mix of powder and musk, perfect for days in bed when sweet nothings mean everything. Sips like hot totty. Hot totty? Mm. Smells like sexy laundry to me. And then the last one, which I believe is their, one of their newer releases, is Wild Child. Gardenia, Jasmine, and 
Plumeria, Plumeria. Unleash your inner troublemaker with flirty white flowers, best worn with a twinkle in your eye. Sips like cosmopolitan. I don't tend to like very floral scents, but this is like a beautiful, fresh version of that. So if you are kind of into florals, but find them too like heavy or too florally, this might be a nice fresh one to try. The scents definitely last really well on your skin. One thing I love about them is that the descriptions and the notes that it gives are very easy to understand and definitely gives you a good feel for the scent. So I do think when they do that and it is so accurate, it's much easier to pick one out online, especially if you kind of have fragrances which tend to be the same notes or at least similar. I think you'll be able to probably find one that would suit you from this range. And the packaging looks like it should have like a tiny iPhone in it or something, doesn't it? And they give you a little fortune. Yeah, I mean, you don't need four, do you? But they're all very different. Gilded Fox is warm and sexy. Wild Child is light and floral and it smells fizzy to me. Pillow Talk Poet is definitely sexy fresh laundry. And then Merry Maker is deliciously fruity. And then the last thing I want to mention is one of my new Sol and Celine backpacks. So this is the Cloud9 in Olive and I did do a full video on them so I'll link that below and not go into it too much. I've just been using this a lot since so I wanted to mention it. Great dividers in it, tons of space and it's just really well made. So we went um, hiking the other day and I brought that with me and it looked cute and it served a purpose. So. There we go. And I've been doing the same the couple times where we've gone to the beach too, because you can kind of fit all of your essentials in there. There's a nice little padded area where I put my camera and it's just a great backpack. And I do have a discount for them, which is for 15% off with the code WIFELIFE, but I'll put it all below. I am also gonna put some of the favorite things I've been watching, um, documentaries and stuff below as well, because it's kind of boring when I just ramble about them. You can just go check them out for yourself. Definitely let me know what you have been loving this month. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye. And one last thing, if you would like to be updated on new videos, blog posts, reviews, then be sure to check out wifelife.co and leave your email at the bottom of the page so that the posts will get sent directly to you.